Good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. When some people think about Christians, what is it that they imagine? What comes to mind? And I think often what comes to mind may not be very inviting. I think people think of Christians as joyless folk who live boring lives because there's so much they would like to do, but God, the party pooper, says no. There's almost an element of seeing Christians as frustrated and repressed, as if they have this desire to live a life that God has said no to. But really, this is not the truth. To be a Christian means that we have given our all to God. And if we have done that, then everything we do, we do for God. And so there is nothing we would want to do that God says no to because we only want what he wants. As Christians, we sacrifice ourselves and we are called to do that, but only for that which we most deeply love. We may suffer, we may be troubled, we may become exhausted, but at our very core, we are unshakable. God asks us to focus on him, not on the wars of the world, not on the economy, not on our personal wants or our personal fears, but on him. And to desire with all our hearts the things that he desires. Our happiness lies in giving ourselves to God. And when we do, we are able to withstand many of the difficulties of life. We can withstand the judgments of others. We can withstand malice, unfaithfulness and inconsistencies. Whatever we face in life, we are able to openly accept and we do not strive after what we do not have. The more one loves God, the more one is content. It is simply silly to be afraid of giving our whole selves to God because this action takes from us our pride, our egocentric desires, our malicious criticisms, all of which make us unhappy. And instead, we are able to act with freedom, with courage, and with hope. We are given wings that enable us to rise above our troubles. And Jesus said, Let him who would be my disciple carry his cross and follow me. And sometimes we are afraid to take up our cross because we focus on what the cross might exact from us without knowing what it offers. It offers peace. It offers love and it offers hope. However, if we try to serve ourselves and God, we become divided, and this tears us apart. We have to let go of our own kingdom to move into the kingdom of God. We are commanded to love God with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our minds, and with our entire bodies. This is not a request. It is foundational to our faith. To love God 
is to not take a single step without him and to follow him where he leads. Let us pray. Father, give us the courage to give our whole selves to you, our all, our time, our money, our skills, our families, our hopes, our dreams. May we focus our energies, may we focus our eyes and our thoughts in your direction. And may we desire for ourselves and for the world the same things that you desire. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.